No, no, no. Bill, listen to me. No, we already talked about this. Deal is for 30 Deutschmarks. No, 30. Listen, Bill. Uh, uh, listen, William. I know you hate it when I call you William. Listen. Yes. 30 Deutschmarks. No, damn it, Bill. Listen, 30 Deutschmarks. Oh. I thought it would be funny to bring out one of my old cell phones. This one's from, uh, I don't remember, where, I had this when I was in like high school or something a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not actually on the phone, I just thought it would be kind of funny. It's probably not, but I, I was uh, laughing the other day when I thought about, or well, I had a friend that uh, did the cell phone trick, you know, when you put it up to your ear and you sit, or when you walk by someone that you know, and you put it up to your ear so you don't have to talk to them, or, you know, it looks like you're busy or you're on the phone so they don't, they don't try to talk to you. I thought that was hilarious though, but it does work though, if you're walking by somebody and you're like, I don't know, or if you're sitting at your desk or something, you can, you know, grab the phone and just be like, you know, pretend you're on the phone and they'll leave you alone. It works like a charm every time. And you can use this uh, awesome phone from, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago or whatever. Anyways, uh, I want to talk about diet. Diet is the most essential thing for training, for bodybuilding training, easily, hands down, the most essential thing. And I discovered my, what I, the diet that I follow by elimination from all the things that did not work. So basically I tried every kind of diet just by researching online from Google searches and uh, books, anything I could find as far as diet. I tried everything. And uh, basically I tried everything and eliminated the things that did not work and decided to, so pretty much the diet that I follow now is all custom based on how it made me feel and how uh, the changes I noticed with my physique and everything. So that's that's what I would encourage anyone to do with the diet is just try do a bunch do as much research as you can and try all these different diet plans that are out there and find out which ones do not work for you. One thing I can tell you is that a lot of people are always going to say you need like wheats and uh, potatoes and uh, things like that, but one thing I know for sure is that um, potatoes are full of starch. So one thing you want to do is research starchy carbohydrates. Because starch does the same thing in the body that it does in the ground. A potato is a, is a it goes it grows in the ground and it stores starch, which is energy. So it stores this huge amount of energy. And when you eat it, your body kind of does the same thing with it. It stores fat. It, it takes the calories that you eat and it stores it as fat. So that's what it did for me because I used to eat a ton of potatoes and same thing with wheat. Uh, wheat kind of does the same thing. It's the carbohydrates that did not do me well as far as um, it was kind of like a training where I would take five steps forward and four steps back and you know now my training is more like it's just you know one step forward every day because I used to train right but my diet was so bad that um, you know you couldn't see any definition or anything. And um, I tried everything from super high fat diets, and uh, I've always followed the rule um, with protein. I try to, I weigh uh, about 190 now, and I usually try to eat about two grams of protein per body pound. So you know, I'm at about three, 360 somewhere around there, 380 of total, uh, 360, 380 total uh, grams of protein per day. And uh, I've always followed that rule, but I tried this super high fat diet where I would do like mayonnaise and oils and all this stuff. And I got like up to 235 pounds. And right now I weigh 190, between 190 and 185. So that's a, a big difference. And I swear that I didn't gain any muscle size. I was stronger, but I did not gain any muscle size from that. So eventually I just decided to eliminate all the carbs from my diet except for non-starchy vegetables which is basically broccoli and I have a list of them you can find lists of them online um, like onions are not starchy broccoli green beans there's a, a huge list of it uh, lettuce so just incorporate those into your diet and um, keep the protein steady I always keep the protein steady so I eat six times a day and uh, almost every meal is uh, like beef, ground turkey, chicken, one of those. I don't eat them all at the same time, but I eat, you know, one of them. So like I'll like 
usually during lunch I'll have like uh, some chicken and I'll put broccoli with it and cook that. And, uh, it's not bad, but uh, that's kind of what my diet is now, and it's kind of just the way I, I felt and the way I wanted to. Um, it's kind of a custom diet, and uh, I did notice that when I started taking whey protein, I always I take four servings of whey protein per day, so that amounts to about 80 grams of protein, which is a significant amount of the protein that I get. But I, I really think whey is an excellent way. <laughs> whey is an excellent way, really. But okay, so whey is a good way. <laughs> Never mind. With whey protein, your body it's your body uh, gets leaner just by taking it. I noticed that when I was training a few years ago, when I started taking uh, whey protein, that I just kind of got leaner without really doing much different with my diet. It's just because of the protein that your body, uh, the way it uh, metabolizes it, it causes you to get leaner. At least it did with me. So I, I'm a huge fan of the whey protein, and uh, I always. Like if I'm eating, like I said, with that, that meal I, I usually eat for lunch, like it's chick, chicken and broccoli, I'll also have like a protein shake with that. So the broccoli, the chicken is 40 grams of protein or 30, something like that, and then the, the protein shake is another 20. So that's like a good way to supplement those additional uh, protein grams in there. And another thing which is essential is the amount of times you eat per day. A lot of people don't realize is if you eat, a lot of people eat like once or twice a day. And that's just terrible because your body needs the calories every two or three hours. It needs the protein and the calories in order to not store any fat. So if your body gets used to eating one or twice, once or twice a day, then it's going to store calories to fuel it during these hours when you're not eating. Like if, some, if somebody wakes up in the morning and only eats breakfast, their body needs calories throughout the day. So it's going to store most of those calories instead of using it to build muscle or whatever. So that also causes body fat storage. And um, so that's, that's something I realize a lot. So eating like six times a day, and you don't have to be obsessive about it, if you, you know, even if it's just a protein shake. Like even if one of your meals is just a protein shake. So that's a good way, like if you're at work, take protein shake with you, use that. Because that still counts. That's calories and protein that... Uh, will help your body lean out. But that's one thing I've noticed, and um, I was going to show you some stuff that I have in here. It's kind of funny. My kitchen's pretty funny. I got like, uh, if you look up in this cabinet, I got some tuna here, an ample supply of tuna. I always have to have coffee. Tons of coffee. More coffee up there. Whole bean coffee. Vanilla and French roast. Excellent. Got my vitamins over here, and I got like five protein shakers because I get so many of them. My refrigerator. You can tell I'm not a big fan of eggs at all. Got a few eggs down here. Got some meat and some containers. Got some water. Got some Tabasco. My freezer is even more hilarious. I always have like tons of meat in here. Broccoli. I always have it stocked up so much. Just because you can freeze it and then you know, you freeze it and you got a, a supply of it for a while. You don't have to go to the grocery store as much. And up here I've got some uh, some more Tabasco and salt and pepper, some things like that. Then down here I have some onions, protein, more coffee, coffee grinder. You got to have tons of coffee. But anyways, that's all I have for diet, and uh, thanks for listening to me, Babylon, and uh, I apologize for that phone call at the beginning.